So the test server for Tidal Update 21 dropped yesterday. So let's go through and explain all the new stuff it got. Starting with Sviadovka SP Su, uh, we we'll just call it Su, which is a rifle brand set. So one piece is 15% mag size, which is pretty damn good for a one piece, I think. Two piece, 20% rifle damage. So definitely really good two piece for rifle here. Even though rifles are not the best right now. The three piece is 30% weapon handling, which is quite a lot. But I don't really see myself uh, going for that uh, three piece. But a pretty good uh, brand set overall. We take a look at the, the item right here, which is called the bobber. And that got perfect and trench. So if we compare and trench and perfect and trench side by side, you can see here. So there's a 10% increasement in the armor you repair and a one second less cooldown. Otherwise, they are the same. So yes, it's a bit better, but is it really good enough? In my opinion, Entrench is just not a top tier uh, talent. There's also another named uh, glove, which is Eagle's Grasp. And this one gives you 15% weapon handling as a second attribute. Kind of nice if you, for some reason, want to go into weapon handling, which might be something you want to do if rifles would become uh, stronger and you want to spam it. But yeah, 15% weapon handling versus, I think, 8%, which is the, the normal value. Before we move on to one of the new exotics, you might struggle to get some of the raid exotics, but today's video sponsor, Dwing, can help you with just that. So you want to get some raid and dark zone exclusive items, but you don't have friends or a clan, or you don't want to wait in the queue to get carried by streamers, then Dwing got you covered. You can get items such as the Eagle Bearer, Regulus, Ouroboro, completely full builds, and much, much more. Dwing offers self-play, which means that you actually play on your account while you are getting carried. So basically the same as getting carried by anybody else. Dwing has been operating for many years and have a lot of client reviews and payment methods. Use the code WIDS for a 15% off. So moving on to one of the new exotic uh, weapons, we got the Overlord, which you can see here is a uh, KSG. And yes, it's just a normal KSG. The actual cosmetic of the gun will be on the live server because I guess it's not done yet. So if we look at the, the mods quickly, it got 15 critical hit damage on the scope, 20% weapon stability, and 15% reload speed with a mag size of 13. Core attributes are looking normal. If we do look at the unique talent capitulate, it is a movement debuff this time around. So hitting an enemy applies minus 2% movement speed for each pellet hit for 5 seconds. Shooting the enemy again will reapply the stacks. So most shotguns I believe do have 8 pellets. 8 times 2 is 16% right? So if you do hit all the pellets, it will be a 16% movement speed debuff. So you take a quick look here, I hit all the pellets. You can see the debuff up there. So as you can see here, it's just the amount of bullets that you hit, hit per shot, right? So it's not like you can hit a few bullets first time and then you hit second time and it adds those together. It's just like the amount of pellets that you do hit. In my opinion, this uh, talent doesn't really make any sense at all. I talked about that on the stream yesterday. Like they adding guns like Iron Lung, but especially if you take Elmo as an example, it was an insanely good M4 with no recoil, with really good mag size, extremely good damage. On top of that, it had shock bullets, a full mag of it. Sure, you had to like build it up a bit and this one is instant, but how is 16% movement speed gonna compare to, to shocking a target. Like, I just don't understand this. So, so, I don't know. Like, they have to increase this. 16% movement speed, it's nothing. So, in my opinion, the shotgun does just seem extremely underwhelming. However, though, it is easy to make this more interesting by just upping the, the debuff uh, on the movement speed. So, maybe we will see that in the future. Talking about shotguns, though. A new shotgun talent, which is called the Brazen. So, receive plus 1% amp damage on the next shot with the weapon for each pellet that hits the target, if at least six pellets hit. We can take a comparison here to perfect brazen. So the only difference here is that you only need it four pellets, which is uh, half the shots right. On the normal one, you need it six. Not that big of a difference. I mean, you should be hitting your shots right. It's nice to see like new damage talents though, but I don't think the damage here is super impressive. So eight pellets is 8% amp damage on the next shot. So the name one, we have like glue, which is a super 90 with perfect brazen. And then Thorn, we 
with Perfect Brazen as well, which is a Spaz 12. Then the Diamondback got a little bit of rework and uh, love here. So increased base damage from 329,000 to 342,000. It also got a mag size up to 6 from 5, so one more bullet. And I think the only difference in the talent is that instead of randomly marking any enemy, now it will be any enemy within 20 meters, which means you're going to have a closer target. Sometimes before it would target something that was not ideal and it would be kind of painful to, to get that kill, right? And if no enemies are within 20 meters, of course, it will mark the targets closest uh, to you. So a small change there, but it should make the gun easier to play. And I actually do love Diamondback. I think it's a super fun gun to use. Remember using that in PvE before. Even in PvP, even though it's a hard gun, it was extremely fun when you hit your shots with that. So pretty cool to see that gun being buffed, maybe actually usable again. And talking about rifles, there is actually a new gear set focused around the marksman rifle and rifle. But before we get into that one, I figured we would check the new exotic knee pads before quick. So the new knee pads are called Acosta knee pads, which you can see here. Pretty similar in the looks to some other knee pads. Anyway, the talent called Escape Plan. So vaulting grants plus 10% movement speed for 3 seconds. Worth to note with this is that it refreshes every time you vault. If you don't move for 5 seconds, then you will get a 20% movement speed for 4 or 5 seconds. Being applied a status effect grants 10% movement speed for 5 seconds. And the max movement speed bonus is 20% here. The bonuses do not stack with movement speed bonuses from other sources. And minus 50% movement impairment penalty from status effects when i read this i feel like okay a lot of this is actually damn cool but then some stuff here is just really questionable so first of all the max bonus you can get is 20 percent probably the first thing you might be thinking about is to use this uh, with lady death right 20 percent movement speed you have the melee damage and all that but nope it doesn't stack so you can only get 120 percent movement speed in total so combining lady death with this would be completely useless then you also look here, vaulting gives you 10% movement speed for 3 seconds. This in my opinion should have been 20%. I think everything here should be 20. And especially being applied a status effect gives you 10%. That should be 20. I'm being completely honest, I, I actually do like the knee pads. Except they're just way too low. Like I love the idea though. Especially when you read here, minus 50% movement impairment penalty from status effect. First thing I think about that is like, oh, could this be the counter to, to shock? Shock bullets in Dark Zone? But as you can see here, it does make a difference, but is it really enough? I would have loved to see it take away 100% movement impairment penalty from status effects and like actually give you the max movement speed possible if you get on status effect to kind of counter status effect. So I think overall, everything here should give you 20. You vault, it gives you 20% movement speed. Standing still, I don't think should give uh, movement speed at all. Take that one away and just have vaulting 20% for 5 seconds. If you get on status effect, it should give you 20% movement speed and no impairment as well. And on top of that, maybe give you a tiny bit of bonus armor or something. Like make these like kind of the counter against status effect. This should be the movement king. You have these on, they should not be able to stop you. That's what I think about the, the knee pads. And I was talking a little bit about it. Like if you take the, the shock punch holster. So, th so those kind of counter shock, right? But like a more fun concept would be if somebody would shock you, you would get like some buff and build it up and be like super fast or something like that. So it would be cool to see those type of talents. But I don't want to ramble too much here. But yeah, I hope to see these ones uh, getting buffed. Last but not least is the new rifle gear set, which is called the Breaking Point. Two-piece bonus gives you 25% rifle damage and marksman rifle damage. This is extremely good because this will compete with a lot of the sets when you do a one-shot sniper build. I think Aces have 15% marksman rifle damage as a two-piece. And in some of the builds where I want the most damage, I do use one-piece Aces with my ninja bike. So this would give me 10% more which is a pretty good addition. So keep in mind that this will be good for sniper builds as well. At least a two and three piece. A uh, three piece is 30% headshot damage and 15% weapon handling. So both the two piece and three piece extremely good. Then we have the four piece, 
which is called on point. So quite a lot of text to take in there. So this is kind of working similar to striker, but for rifle in some sense, right? You, you have stacks and you build up for them. However, when you reach the max stacks, then you will actually get the, the damage from it and you will get a timer going down. So for example, here we have the LVA, which is a rifle. So I have 55 bullets in the mag, which means 55 is the max stacks I can get. However, though, if I miss, I will get less stacks because when you reload, you will activate the stacks. And the stacks will give you 2% uh, handling and 2% weapon damage. But I guess it's worth to note that the backpack talent will increase the weapon damage bonus from 2% to 3%. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but I equipped yesterday for the max mag size. I think I had 69 bullets on the LV way. And I mean, 69 got to be something special with that build. Which I think with how, how all the calculation works, like making a blue build and having a lot of uh, damage from that would be freaking great. Like 3 times 69. That's like over 200% weapon damage, right? You can look at the chest piece as well. So that one will give uh, 15 seconds on the buff instead of 10 seconds. Okay, so max stacks now will be 55. There's no cap or anything. I heard people think it was like a 30 cap. No, I tested that. So you can get as many stacks as uh, the mag says. So you build stacks by hitting. As you can see below the mag, you see the green thing there, right? If you miss and you don't have a way to get the bullets back, then you are gonna be, be getting less stacks, right? Because as soon as you reload, or it automatically reloads, that's when you get the stacks. So we can see here, 554, and now we do 1 million. We almost double the damage here. And then it's on a timer, 10 seconds. With a chest piece though, it would be 15. If you do that on this classic, the USC 45, look at the recall now. And shout out to the people that remember the days when I played that. When it was crazy. But you saw a lot of recoil, right? And now, not gonna move at all. <laughs> it's actually crazy. Because you get so much weapon alling, right? Over 100%. If you have like 50 stacks times 2, right? 100% weapon alling. You don't even need that much because you have weapon handling on the free piece too. I, I don't really like that you have to build it up and then get it. It wouldn't almost be better if it worked like striker, but for rifles, right? So instead of having to build it up, you just uh, get the damage instantly from the stacks and you can keep it up. But I don't know, to be honest. Like, I think the set is fine. It's just rifles are pretty underwhelming now. And we talked about that yesterday. Like, look how fast rate of fire this can have, for example. Like, I have extremely good... Uh, trigger finger i think so i can click extremely fast i, I clicked this weapon when it had thousand rpm back in the day with a shit ton of recall before the beta I can probably show a clip here but i don't want to sit and click like that and you shouldn't have to so i think it's time for them to add in a way to to make rifles full auto the way destiny did that i heard is that they added it for people that have that don't have the possibility to actually click that's how they argued for it so, I mean, if they feel like, oh, but yeah, rifle, you should have to click. Just do, do it that way. Like, just add it in as a quality of life feature for people that can't click, that have a disability. Everybody will use it and it will be fun. And maybe maybe something worth to test, I think, at least. Because a lot of these rifle, like especially the LVA, I would love to play them, but I don't want to sit and spam them. I think I will do a testing video because I want to do something with LVA. And I think I will just do a macro and just play it with full auto just to see how it is. Don't recommend you guys to do that, but I want to just do some testing and see if that would actually be viable. Because I don't want to sit and spam and fuck up my, my body because of a game. Anyway, I think that was everything. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and there will be new videos coming. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think about this new straight to the point concept. And I see you guys on my Twitch stream Monday to Thursdays, 6 to 9 p.m. CEST.